So this is a, a words practice where we're going to be dropping words into the mind. So to begin with, checking in with our intention for this practice. An intention to be curious about what happens in our minds when we drop in words. The process of how thoughts arise, how we engage the thoughts, and sometimes how we get caught up in thinking which takes us away from the present moment. And then connecting with your motivation, the reasons why you've made time this morning to come here to practice. Maybe you hope to benefit in some way, to gain some peace of mind or to gain some insight into how the mind works. So now becoming curious about how the breathing feels in the body And if it helps your mind to settle, you can breathe in a little deeper, breathe out a little longer. And as you breathe in, saying to yourself, this is an in-breath. And as you breathe out, saying to yourself, this is an out-breath. And as you do this, you might notice thoughts passing through the mind, no problem. Let them be choosing instead to focus on breathing with the phrases, this is an in-breath, this is an out-breath. And now noticing any releasing or letting go quality of the out-breath. And then just as the body releases the out-breath, Seeing if the mind can release involvement with thoughts, allowing thoughts to arise, display and dissolve in the mind. Now letting go of the phrases and letting go of any control of the breathing. So we allow the breath to naturally resume its own rhythm.
and becoming curious about how the body is feeling now. Maybe feeling the hands where they are resting. Feeling the contact between the body and the chair or the cushion. Feeling the feet on the ground. And from the feet opening up to become aware of the whole of the body. As we allow the whole body to rest unconditionally supported by the ground and surrounded by space. How are you experiencing the body resting in this way now? And just as we can rest the body in this way, allowing the mind to rest unconditionally supported in the body with no need to do anything. Nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to achieve. And then after a while, you'll probably notice that the mind wanders, it's become caught up in thinking and that's taken us away from being present. And whenever that happens, it's really not a problem. It's a normal part of our meditation practice. And we can simply notice where the mind's gone this time. And so learn about the habits of the mind. And then kindly and gently come back to being present once more, taking our time to connect with and ground in the body Feeling the sensations of breathing. And then opening out from the breathing body to whatever's happening now. And in this practice, we're going to be dropping some words into the mind. Without thinking about the words, just noticing whatever's, whatever arises in response to the words. You might notice other words arising, or you might notice an image or a memory. So just curious and open. You may notice an emotional response. You may notice engaging with the thought and getting caught up in thinking. Open and curious about whatever happens. And our first word is water.
water. Curious about any thoughts, any emotional feelings, any physical sensations that arise in response to this word. And our second word is bicycle. Bicycle. And any time you notice that you get caught up in thinking, just curious about the, the train of thought that's taking you there. And then gently and kindly coming back to ground in the body, feeling the breathing, opening out to whatever's happening now. And our next phrase is Holidays. Holidays. my to-do list. My to-do list. And whenever you get caught up in a train of thought, just curious about where that's taken you. And then gently coming back to being present in the breathing body. Opening out from there to whatever's happening. And our final word is conflict. Conflict.
and I'm letting go of the words. And uh, if you're needing one, you can make a gesture of self-kindness, placing the hand on the heart. Becoming curious about the process of a word generating thoughts and feelings that we then are compelled to engage in and get caught up in thinking and the places that this takes us to. Maybe recognizing that we don't have to buy into some of these trains of thoughts, but can see them just as they are. The risings in the mind. I sit back and observe from a wider perspective of being here, grounded in the body, sensing the breathing, open to the whole of our experience within which thoughts and emotions and physical sensations are passing through like clouds, moving across a vast open sky. And as we come to the end of this practice, appreciating ourselves for taking the time this morning to meet, to practice together, to explore these amazing and sometimes tricky minds of ours. Cultivating the skills to navigate them more skillfully. Appreciating everyone else here for their presence and acknowledging any benefits in the practice, any insight, any peace of mind, any mental clarity, and wishing that these benefits grow for all of us here and are shared with those around us in ever-widening circles. So maybe taking a moment to have a stretch and a bit of a roll of the shoulders. 